is Crystal with Pineapple Papers, and I am up on the Spiegel Mom Scraps channel today, and I am super excited. Um, so it is the 15th of July, so I am halfway through my off the board. So today's inspiration comes from that pin up there in the corner, and it is basically making um, florals from celery. And I am 100% in love with this. Like, I love celery, so we usually have celery at our house. But now I think we have to have celery to stamp um, flowers. So I am using a couple inks. Um, two of them are from Catherine Puller. Uh, they are Sangria and pepper, Peppermint something. I think I have them right here. Hold on. So it is peppermint scrub. And then I'm using one distressed oxide in abandoned coral. So I am doing a photo of my daughter. And this was her homeschooling. So this is basically her just doing um, some homework on her bed. Um, and I just wanted to document this this time in our life when when we are doing a little more schoolwork from home. So I'm contemplating that mixed media background, but I will ultimately end up using the take note paper that looks like a calendar over off to the right. So I haven't decided on that at this point, but I am doing some layering around my photo. So I am using basically the Flourish collection. I have the six by six pad as well as the 12 by 12 pad and the sticker sheet. So I did a couple of messy layers behind my photo and now I have pulled my stamped images. So I fussy cut them out and then distressed them with that distress oxide ink. I did for the slightest second think, oh, maybe I am going to use this house paper on the other side of the mixed pa media paper. And I was like, whoa, that's like crazy busy, way, way too busy. So I did feel like... I needed a little something on the bottom to kind of ground the layout. So I wanted one more uh, background piece to my photo layers. And then I am going to cut a small strip and place that along the bottom of the layout so that it kind of gives like a resting point. So that is what I am doing now. So the July sequins are amazing. So I literally came home from um, vacation. And so we got home on the 4th of July. And these amazing sequins were in my mailbox from vacation. And I promptly went out and spent the next entire day in my scrapbook room and I had to play with them. And I, I was like, Oh, I like this one. No, I want to play with this one. Well, this layout gets three of the July mixes. That's how amazing they are. So, um, I did show you in the beginning, the two, the main two that I had focused on, the first one is Flamingo Bay, and the second one is Summer Splash. Now, Summer Splash is totally my colors. It is mint and coral. It's, it's amazing. But those two colors were almost the exact same colors of the inks that I used. So that abandoned coral is like the exact color of the sequins in the summer splash and then the sangria is like the perfect color to go with flamingo bay 
So if you're looking for some inks to match with your sequins, um, if you have either of those, these are the perfect sequin mixes to go with them. So that I was super excited about. And so I am going to do two floral clusters, one on the top right hand corner and one. No, that's not the right. That's your left crystal. Get, get your left and right together. So the top left hand corner and the bottom right hand corner, they're each going to get three of the florals, one in each color. I'm going to add this bow and that is from Sunny Days from Maggie Holmes. And it has that same pink and blue that kind of goes with her bedding. Um, and I really felt like the florals met, matched matched her bedding very well. So I did do that strip on the bottom that we had talked about and then I decided to add a little bit more of that beautiful floral blue on the top and bottom as well. So now I'm going to start my embellishing. So I have the Flourish sticker sheet and I'm going to pull in that blue banner that says I love you as well as a couple of hearts and two little houses. Now, I felt like I had to get some houses on this because she's basically homeschooling. That's what these poor kids had to do. Um, and then I added a little camera. So to add a little bit more of the black and white, I kind of just was going through my Maggie home stuff and I pulled out some of the carousel collection and I pulled out two florals, one from the sticker sheet and one from the chipboard sheet. Both are black and white and they got added to each of the floral clusters. So I do have some of those fussy cut celery roses left. So those will probably make it on another layout sooner probably rather than later i did go off screen and added my title which is homeschool as well as the month of may and i put in the days of the month on the calendar where it was supposed to be so now i am going to add my sequins so i am going to start with the flamingo bay that you see right there and what I did was I added a couple of drops of Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive just to kind of go around those floral pieces. So I kind of knew where they were going to go. And I added the dot of Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive, picked it up with my Crystal Katana. So the Crystal Katana is my favorite sequin piece right now it has a wax tip on one side and it picks it up beautifully and then you flip it over and it has a metal piece and you can um, tap it down so it gets in the glue but it that glue doesn't get all over your wax tip so i i absolutely love this thing so i'm gonna do both of the floral pieces in that Flamingo Bay. And then I am going to move on to the Summer Splash. And I am gonna do the exact same thing. So right there, it's a little hard to see. You just see a little bit of shimmer, but in the close-ups, um, you can see the sequins a little better. I did think at one point what would be super fun would be to stitch these sequins on the roses with um, coordinating thread or embroidery floss or whatever it is that you use. But um, no, I was in a stick and plunk mood. So that, that really is one of my favorite things to do with sequins is just to add a little adhesive and then add the sequin right on top 
So I am going to finish up these roses and then I realized it needed a little bit more. What it needed was a little bit of blue. So for July, there's these Oops a Daisy sequins. I love them. I absolutely love them. And if you have been on Instagram lately, the there's a product focus picture of these sequins literally on some sunflowers and it's so cute. I'm like, ah, I think that anytime we get flowers, they should always come with sequins. Like, how do I make that happen? Like that just needs to be a thing. It's beautiful. You should totally check it out. So I'm just going to add in two spots on the top of by May and on the bottom by the houses and then one in the middle of the camera. So here are some close-ups so you can see the Flamingo Bay sequins there and the Summer Splash sequins there and then you can see them together. Aren't they beautiful? So there is my full layout. If you have any questions, leave them down below and make sure you head over to the shop and use my code crystal 15 to save 15% on these amazing July sequins. So remember to wear your crown. Bye.